In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply a pattern to clothing in Photoshop. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to apply a pattern design to clothing and you're going to learn how to warp and fit the design to the t-shirt. You're also going to learn how to apply shadows and highlights on top of that to make it look realistic. And you're even going to learn how to work non-destructively so you can easily change the color or the design in the future. Okay, so let's get started on the tutorial. Before we apply the design, we need a good selection of the t-shirts. And to save some time on this tutorial, I already done that and I have the selection saved. I can load my selection by going to select load selection or I can also find it in the channels tab and I can control or command click on the channel thumbnail to load the selection. Okay, so once you have a good selection of the t-shirt, we're going to move on to the next step and that is applying the design. So if you already have a design that can fit the size of the t-shirt, you can do that. But in this tutorial, we're going to apply a pattern to the t-shirt. So I'm going to deselect for now and I'm going to take the marquee tool and I'm going to make a selection around the t-shirt like so. And you're going to make sure that the selection is bigger than the t-shirt. Then I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to click on control backspace to fill the selection with white. You're going to make sure that this white rectangle is bigger than the t-shirt because we're going to put the design on top of it and we're going to be warping it later on to fit the t-shirt. Okay, so now we're going to right click on the layer and convert it to smart object. Then I can load my selection again by control clicking on the thumbnail and then you're going to add the layer mask to this smart object. So now this smart object is only visible on top of the t-shirt and we're going to apply the design to this smart object. And we can do that by double clicking on the smart object. And then we can make any changes to the design. Save the file, then go back to the original image and you'll see that the smart object will update. And that's how you'll be able to change the design easily in the future. Okay, so we're going to be using this pattern. Uh, I downloaded this image from a website called freepick.com. And there's many patterns to choose from and I'll leave a link in the description for this one so you can download it from the website. So this image is seamless, that means we can convert this one to a pattern and use it to fit the whole t-shirt. First of all, I want to remove the background and we can do that with color range. So go to select, then color range and click on the background to select that blue. You can see that some parts of the foreground is selected and that's okay we can fix that with the levels adjustment layer then you're gonna hold alt and click to add an inverted layer mask so as you can see we need to work on the layer mask to make sure that everything is selected and if you hold alt or option to see the layer mask you can see that we need to increase the contrast to make sure that everything is selected so click on Control or command l to get to levels and all we need to do is make the midtones lighter and also we can make the whites wider to make sure to select everything and if this adjustment layer is not enough we can click OK and apply levels again Alright, so that looks pretty good to me, but if you want to make sure to select everything, you can take the brush tool and change the blending mode to overlay and then paint with white to make sure to include everything in the selection. I'm going to alt click again to exit out the mask view. And we're going to convert this image to a pattern. So make sure to click away to deselect the layer mask and then go to edit, define pattern. We can give it a name and then click OK. So now we convert this image to a pattern. We can close the file and not save it. We're not going to be needing this anymore. 
then you're gonna double click on the layer mask to go back to the smart object and because we converted that image to a pattern we can add a new pattern adjustment layer on top then if you click here you'll find the new pattern that you saved at the bottom we can also control the scale from here and you can also use the mouse scroll wheel to increase or decrease the scale so I'm gonna choose about 60% scale click OK and I'm gonna also delete this layer to make sure that the background is transparent now we can save the file and the smart object is gonna be updated in the original image okay so now that we applied the pattern we need to make this design look realistic on the t-shirt so the first thing I'm going to do is warp the design to make sure that it follows the edges and the wrinkles of the t-shirt. So click on Ctrl T to get to the free transform and then you're gonna right click and choose warp. You may see this warning that tells you it will not work with linked smart object. All you have to do is click on this chain icon to unlink the layer mask and then you're gonna click on Ctrl T again then right click and choose warp. So in the newer versions of Photoshop, you can make your own custom grid and you can also use a grid from this list here. So I'm going to choose 4x4 four four, and then I'm going to start warping the edges of the pattern to make sure to fit it with the t-shirt. So if you click in on one of these points, you can use these handles to also twist the image. So in areas like this, it makes sense that the design will twist with the t-shirt. So take your time and make sure that the design fits the edges of the t-shirt. And once you're done, you can click on the check mark to accept the changes. And because we have this layer as a smart object, you can go back at any time, click on Ctrl T, then choose Warp again, and you will see that this adjustment is non-destructive, and you can go back at any time and continue warping this image. Alright, so now that we warped the design and made sure that it's fitting the t-shirt, we can start blending the pattern and make sure that it looks realistic. So we can start by changing the blending mode of this layer to multiply and the multiply blending mode will bring back some of the shadows of the t-shirt. What we can also do is enhance the shadows even more. So what you're going to do is add another copy of the background image by holding Alt or Option and dragging it to the top. We're gonna convert this layer to black and white so click on Control shift u and then we can also change the blending mode of this layer to multiply. As you can see this layer enhanced the shadows and made the image look a little bit more realistic. But we want this layer to be only visible on the t-shirt. So what we can do is copy the this layer mask to the new layer. But instead I'm gonna click on Ctrl G to group this layer. And I'm gonna copy this layer mask using Alt or Option to the group. And by doing this, we can add as many layers as we want inside the group. And we have only one layer mask. Okay, so now that we enhance the shadows, what we can also do is add another layer of highlights on top of this to make it look even more realistic. So what I'm going to do is duplicate the shadows layer using Ctrl or Command J. And I'm going to change the blending mode of this layer to screen. As you can see, this screen blending mode layer will only make the highlights visible. We can also control the visibility of this layer by increasing the contrast. And we can do that with the levels or the curves adjustment layer. I'm going to add a levels adjustment layer. Then you're going to need to create a clipping mask using Alt or Option to make sure that this adjustment layer is only affecting the screen blending mode layer. 
So now we can make the shadows and the midtones darker to make sure that only the highlights on the creases are visible. We can also decrease the opacity of this layer to get a realistic result. So as you can see with this screen blending mode layer we added another layer of highlights on top and it makes the image look a lot more realistic than before. Okay so that's pretty much all what you need to do to apply a pattern to a t-shirt and make it look realistic but I want to add a few more things to make this look even more realistic. So if I zoom in a little bit you can see that the background image is a little bit blurry and the design is way too sharp. So what we can do is add some Gaussian blur to the smart object layer. So I'm going to select that layer then I'm going to go to filter blur and I'm going to apply some Gaussian blur. So about one pixel is going to be good and as you can see the design is now matching a little bit better with the background image. There's also one more thing that we can do and that is applying the texture of the t-shirt on top of the design to make it look even more realistic. So to do that uh, what I'm going to do is take another copy of the background image to the very top. I'm going to also click on Control shift u to desaturate this image. Then I'm going to go to Filter, Other and High Pass. And then I'm going to choose about 3 pixel radius and click OK. Now we're going to change the blending mode of this layer to linear light. And I'm going to also apply the same layer mask to this layer. So as you can see this layer will bring back the texture of the t-shirt on top of the design. We can also make this texture only visible in the design. And we can do that by loading the texture as a selection. First I'm gonna fill this layer mask with black. And then I'm gonna control click on the smart object thumbnail to load the design as a selection. Now I'm gonna fill this layer mask with white. So this way the texture is only visible on top of the design. Alright, so the other thing that you can do is change the color of the design. So I'm going to select the smart object layer and I can add a hue saturation adjustment layer, create a clipping mask and I can change the color of the design with the hue slider. So I'm going to change the color to something like this. And I'm going to also reduce the saturation. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now what we can also do, and because we separated the shadows of the highlights of the t-shirt, we can also change the color of the t-shirt by adding a solid color on top of the original layer. And I'm going to also apply the layer mask to the solid color. And then I can change the blending mode to multiply. Then I can double click on the solid color layer. And now you can change the color of the t-shirt to anything you like. But in this case I like the original white color so I'm gonna disable this layer for now. If you want to learn more on how to change the color of clothing, you can check out this tutorial where I can show you how to change the color of anything in Photoshop. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I showed you how to apply a pattern design to a t-shirt and then I showed you how to reapply the original shadows and the highlights on top of that to make it look realistic. And because we work non-destructively with smart objects, what you can also do is double click on the smart object again and change this design to anything you want. So I can turn off this pattern and I can add another pattern adjustment layer and then I can change this to anything I want. So I'm going to choose this pattern. 
I'm gonna increase my scale a little bit click OK and then I'm gonna save the file and now if I go back to the image you will see that the smart object will automatically update and, and as you can see we easily change the design and it still looks realistic so that's it for this tutorial I hope you find this tutorial helpful you'll find all the project files and the patterns you need to follow along with this tutorial in the link in the description below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next tutorial